assess, train, and retain. And then you know we're talking about maritime trainer. So, welcome. Hello, everybody. It's, it's a pleasure, really, to be here again after one year. Let me introduce my company first. Uh, we call ourselves a digital human capital management company uh, that we serve globally to the maritime industry. We are recognized by Bro Veritas as Maritime Training Institute and Simulator Center. And through our expertise in maritime and technology, uh, we help shipping companies to assess, train and retain their crew. Uh, I would like to start with a question that I use in my lectures. How many of you will invest in shipping? Maybe buy a ship, become a ship owner, if you have 100 million in your pocket cash. Can I see the hands? Come on. <laughs> Even from the seafarers, I get more answers. OK, when I ask why, they say it's too much risky. I go and buy a real estate, but I go that risky uh, industry. And then the second question comes, what do you need to do if you want to manage these risks as a chip owner? And the question comes, and the answer mainly is, invest in human capital. Well, when we uh, review the uh, maritime industry, in the past it was too much reactive, right? The accidents happen and the actions taken. But now what we see, it's much more proactive. After TMSA came into force in the tanker industry, it was voluntary, but now it became a ticket to trade. It's not only TMSA now, we're talking about right chip requirements. CIRA 2.0 is coming as a nightmare, and then RISC-Q and other requirements. Digitalization, decarbonization, these all makes a great skill gap now that the ship owners need to manage. And let's look closer to the the problems, the challenges, and what we can propose on that. Decarbonization. Now, the vessels started to use that kind of new fuels, but there are no regulations, no standards for training. So companies are trying to solve and find their own solutions. And this is really a great uh, risk. What we see lately, the manpower is shifting to the undeveloped countries. This also increases the skill gaps. But when we are talking about the new generation, also the way they think and behave, learn, completely changed. So we also need to change our mindset in order to attract them and retain them. So the companies need to do a lot to create a culture that people love to work for. You need to give them an employee value proposition and you need to increase engagement, recognition, Words and really put some efforts on talent management. Digitalization is on the way, and some officers are really afraid to lose their jobs when the autonomous vessels and these AI is under consideration. I'm not thinking that it, it is too close for the global shipping companies, uh, vessels uh, working globally. We need people, maybe less, but much more qualified. And you will see the root causes of the excellence will remain the same, right? Again, people. So we need to help them with the help of digitalization, take the human in the center of this uh, human uh, and a hybrid digitalization model and ease their job by having data-driven decisions. Instructional design is another thing that we need to focus really. Our training designers are working on that a lot. New generation, as I mentioned, learns very differently and behaves differently. So you need to take the learner in the center of the learning process in order to achieve learning. I'm not talking about training. It's learning now. So the way you prepare your training, using engagement, game gamification, uh, interactive training tools, uh, interactive assessments, even the form filling after reading a report. You need to do your utmost to make it as valuable as possible. The platform also that you're using, it should be 
giving you an end-to-end -end solution. It will comprehend every, everything that you need, every tool that you need. It should be lean, that you can understand and implement easily. It should continue to be developed and up-to-date, and can be integrated with the other ERP providers. Also, it should provide you some data, so you, you should use the Power BI and these business intelligent tools to give insights about what's going on. Customer success is another issue that, as digital learning providers, we need to focus on. We should be proactive, following the regulations and upcoming requirements, and act immediately. We should provide solutions above industry requirements. Responsive, we should help companies during the onboarding process for the implementation. We should innovate and let companies use this innovation. So it's, it's an end-to-end -end solution that we provide at the moment. We're helping you to assess, train, and retain your crew. We are enablers, we are facilitators, we are innovators. Let me show some samples of what we have done. This is our platform, very easy to use, very easy to understand. We can integrate with uh, your ERP platform. Uh, we can have a lot of data. We can customize it according to your requirements and embed your training, specific training, into this platform. And this is our job application. We also saw some bottlenecks, and we have provided some solutions for the companies. This is one of them. Through this platform, you can have the applications directly. The crew apply directly over this platform. They, they just select the vessel type and the position they are applied for. The assessments are enrolled automatically. They are also controlled by a proctoring system online. And you can define some criteria and scores according to the application. So finally, you will be having a score. You will uh, filtering the unqualified seafarers, and you will not be wasting your time by uh, interviewing the unqualified seafarers. We also developed a proctoring system. This proctoring system enables you to increase the reliability of the assessments you are doing. You know, there are lots of cheating uh, online. So we use vision analytics for that. During the assessment, you need to upload a uh, ID card with photo. We make a uh, face recognition, and then during the assessment, we are following the pupils, head movements, and any other face in the screen. So the reliability of the assessment is given automatically. So there are lots of types of assessments that we use to measure personality, aptitude, competency assessment, even maritime English and pronunciation. There are some SMCP phrases that we use you need to pronounce it, and the system automatically records and evaluates it. And also, you're having a comprehensive report after the end of these assessments that you can also have insights about the crew. You can compare it and benchmark with the rank-based and fleet-based crew. Onboarding and orientation is also very much important. We're not just giving a generic system to the companies. We're taking information from them, we are preparing a custom orientation training to transfer the culture of the company to the seafarers. This is very important. We are also taking your SMS, creating a responsibility matrix, preparing 400 to 500 questions, and every officer and shore crew needs to go a comprehensive SMS training module without any time limitation. They see the questions, they go the SMS, they answer the questions. It's a great way to give an orientation to your crew and taken a lot of best practices. We also prepare a pre-joining training, including all the necessary items to go on board, life on board, hygiene on board, any reporting systems, and we can customize it according to your company requirements. Yeah, e-learning courses. These are not courses converted to, from PowerPoint presentations or PDF courses. Our training designers are working a lot to take this learner in the center of the learning process. We had gamification, case studies, real-life stories, assessments, reports. We really work on that very hard. And the outcome is really 
Wonderful. And at the end, they will be awarded with this certificate. Also, we have this QR code, so any auditor and inspector can directly have verification over our pl platform. We are also using the Shell's partner in safety materials for the reflective learning and resilience, but we are not only using the calendars or the photos or the PDF. We converted all of them into problem-based learning scenarios. It's very easy to facilitate a session, showing them a real case, stopping it and asking questions. So they can link their experiences with the topic and start speaking easily. For the resilience, we also use some ice-breaking games to make and ease the facilitation. We also generated and developed a lot of soft skill courses in order to support the uh, continuous professional development of seafarers and your shop group. These are all engaging and interactive trainings. One of the hot topics, TMSA, SIRE, Dry BMS, Rescue, we have a wide range of library that we have prepared to meet all these requirements. You can directly go over our webpage and see our matrix, how we meet these requirements. We have some additional supplementary courses uh, in 3D animation format with a lecturer. Now here you can see uh, how a profile is working in details. We can create 3D animation, uh, especially over the accidents that you have experienced. We can show the uh, root causes of the accident, ask questions to trigger discussion during the classroom trainings, especially group trainings. VR-based immersive training, serious games for critical operations, also occupational health and safety trainings on the Unreal environment. We have various kinds of games that we have developed, and we can also develop new games on demand. I need to open a separate uh, parenthesis here. The cloud simulation is one of my dreams. While I was lecturing, I was giving trainings over liquid cargo handling simulator. And this was my dream. I shared this dream with Transas now Watsila many times for many years. And finally, it's real. Uh, by the help of the agreement that we have done with Barsila, also we can provide our clients the self-learning uh, scenarios, which means that anybody can go learn how an inert gas generation is done through a tutorial over the simulator, and then you can assess him by self-learning, without any instructor, without sending this guy to the training uh, center. It really reduces the cost, expands the knowledge, and also reduces your carbon fields. And we can also support you to give instructor-led training scenarios. By the help of our instructors, or even your instructors, you can create your own scenarios. It's really making this uh, training and learning, especially over the simulation, much more cost-effective. One of the solutions we provide is also digital twin. It's much more easier to capture, scan the vessel, and create interactive training step by step. For familiarization, emergency response, even some companies require this to use during the emergency situations to talk over the 3D plan and scan a digital twin of the vessel. We have also a competence management module in line with uh, OKIM's behavioral-based competence assessment and verification. It's working together with our task management module, which means there are some defined tasks. You need to give this task to your officers, you need to review that, you need to give feedback, and then record it to the system that also defines the training needs that you can plan and close these gaps. This is the, one of the topic, uh, hottest topic, I can say. So for this topic, we have created an additional module that we call MT Care. In the MT Care, we have quarterly done general satisfaction surveys. These reports are confidential, so you will see the overall condition of the uh, satisfaction level of the crew from your services. Also, we are making monthly physical, mental, and social pass surveys for the crew. So in a dashboard, you will be seeing how happy they are or if something is going bad, the system will warn you to take action proactively. Also, mentoring and peer support is very important. We are also enabling companies to have training for that and 
to manage some projects for their crew. And finally, you need to capture this data, analyze it. So we are using BI tools for capturing and analyzing this data to create a decision support system for companies and also a competence development system for individuals. Companies can see all the details, also the individuals. And finally, we have many other solutions. The system is working online, offline, and mobile, and the synchronization is made automatically by the end. And you can do also many reporting confidentially over our platform. These are some of the references that we are working at the moment and the locations that we have. Thanks a lot for listening. Thank you very much.